I'm here at Bear Claw Knife and Shear. You know, people come to us all the time and they want to buy kitchen knives, but they're not sure which kitchen knives to get. There's so many of them. Carving knives, chef's knives, paring knives, santokus, even bread knives. How do you know which one? Well, we're going to take a look at that right now. Chef's knife, really easy to use. This is what you use for mincing, dicing. This is a workhorse of the kitchen. If you have one knife, one go-to knife, it's gonna be a chef's knife. And this is what every chef uses 80 to 95% of the time. This is what I use in the kitchen. 95 to 100% of the time is a chef's knife. So this is gonna do all your mincing and dicing and everything now. Now this is a real high-end steel, it's a very nice stuff. But you know, if you're gonna be mincing, it has the rocker on it. This nice curve in the blade and the edge so you can lift it and rock it back and forth. And this is how you're going to do your, your, your mincing. Um, things like, uh, oh, I don't know, a lot of the herbs you're going to chop up really fine, parsley maybe, um, basil, uh, and this would do the trick. Another thing is to do your rock cuts, right? As you're cutting on your board, you're going to do this with your chef's knife. And then, of course, you could do chop cuts as well, uh, julian cuts. Um, anything you can do in the kitchen, you can do with a chef's knife. This is the most used chef's knife in the kitchen. Now, there are a lot of videos out there that will teach you how to use these knives, how to carve a turkey or a chicken, uh, you know, how to take a deboning knife or a boning knife and, and debone a chicken or a ham or whatever it might be. There are a lot of chefs out there that have great videos, but if you go to YouTube University, you're gonna find a lot of different videos on, on that with some very highly qualified people. I am not a chef, but I can tell you this, having been in the knife business for 20 years, this is a carving knife. Carving knife is meant for carving, especially turkeys and chickens and birds, uh, things where you're going to need to get into the little joints and kind of cut through those joints and the fibers and so forth. You need a point, a good point, on a carving knife. Uh, and this will do the job. Now, if you're going to carve hams and briskets, you can certainly do that with this. They're very sharp. They're not that thick in most cases, although some are thicker than others. They're not that thick. They're a fairly thin knife. But carving knives will typically have the point. And they, this is at like the medium size. This is the medium size of a of a knife, usually about 10 or 12 inches. Uh, they have them shorter, they have them longer. Anything you want, you could, you could buy. Now, any knife is sharp, any knife will cut anything. But if you really want to carve a turkey or, or a, a chicken well, you're gonna use this carving knife right here. This one happens to be from Lampson out of Massachusetts. It's all US made. A lot of work by hand goes into these things. They're fully forged, really nice. If you want to come down and check those out, or check us out online at bcknife.com, certainly do that. This is a really nice knife. This is a Santoku. What the heck is a Santoku? Well, this is an Eastern style knife out of uh, mostly Japan. Uh, this has much less of a curve in the edge, much less of a rocker. It's much straighter down here. Um, it's also typically a little bit thinner, that edge, so that you can cut both meats and uh, vegetables with this. Whereas a chef's knife is almost entirely just for vegetables. This can actually do both, especially with julienne cuts. I like to think of this as being my uh, fajita knife, you know, where you're cutting both meats and vegetables, julienne cuts with both. This is my fajita knife right here. And this is another one from Border Town Blades. This is Chris Shires up in Washington State. And look at this beautiful handle. He does amazing work. This is a Wusthof double serrated bread knife. It actually has double serrations there. Now, I'm not big on serrated knives, don't get me wrong. If you're cutting meats or almost anything other than bread, I don't like serrated knives. Um, I'm, I'm just not a fan. I don't want to saw through my meats and everything else. If I have steak knives, they're not serrated. I like steak knives that aren't serrated. 
But when it comes to a bread knife, especially with bread that's hard crusted, you don't want to squish it. You don't want to cut it cleanly. And to do that, you want to use a serrated knife. Now this scallop serration with a double serrated edge, this does a beautiful job of cutting through bread. I mean, it's effortless. Really, really nice. Uh, this comes from Wusthof. This is a special thing just from them. Very difficult to get right now. Anything coming out of Europe is hard to get, but we happen to have some of these in stock. A really nice knife, but this will slice right through, right through bread very easily. Now paring knives are much shorter, typically three and a half or four inches, and they're made for just doing very fine work. If you're peeling an apple or you're just doing fine cuts or decorative cuts in something, this is a paring knife. This one happens to be from Wusthof out of Germany. Uh, Wusthof makes a very nice knife. The steel is very easy to maintain. It's not too hard. Some steels you know, are very hard. They hold an edge very, very well, but they're really hard and they're harder to sharpen. These are much easier to take care of. Chefs love this Wusthof knives, so uh, very nice. They've been making knives for 200 years. Uh, we're a fairly sizable Wusthof dealer, I think. But these are just for doing anything you need to, to more delicate work. And then, of course, if you're gonna peel with a knife, now most, it's funny, most guys peel with a peeler and a lot of ladies peel with a knife. Um, there are exceptions, of course, but uh, it's funny, I've noticed that over the years. But this is a great peeling knife. We're actually gonna peel the apple. Um, this does a great job, it's curved, it's really nice. It comes from Wusthof as well. You know, when the day is done, knives are kinda like tools for a mechanic. If a mechanic uses tools every day, he's gonna notice the difference between a craftsman and a snap-on. I mean, I was, I was a mechanic. I worked on aircraft. I, that's all I bought were snap-on and Mac tools because it was a huge difference for me. But now for a, somebody that works on their car once a month on the weekend, they might not notice a big difference between a snap-on and a Mac tool or a craftsman tool or one of the other less expensive tools out there. And it may not matter to them. It's the same thing for chefs or serious home chefs. If you cook all the time, you're gonna notice the difference between one knife and another. You're going to want knives that are made to do what you need them to do. Uh, you're gonna notice the difference between a good quality knife and a poor quality knife. It's gonna make a big difference to you. If you cook at home once in a while, twice a month, it doesn't matter. Everything has an edge, everything will cut. But when you start getting some knife skills together, if you're watching YouTube videos about cooking, if you're watching the cooking shows on cable, it's time to get some better knives. What's good about Bear Claw, just to toot our own horn, is you can buy these one at a time. We carry all this stuff open stock, and we try and keep a really good stock uh, in so that you can pick out the knives you want one at a time. Some of them are very expensive, I admit, I admit it. Some of them are expensive. So you can choose one knife at a time and, uh, and, and just take your time in filling up a block. We have blocks that are empty, so you can fill them up one at a time. Or you can buy a whole block if you want. I won't stop you. And, and you could do it that way. It's really up to you how you do it. But I encourage you to get better knives. Start learning how to use them with all these different resources now online. Lots of great chefs, lots of great people teaching us how to use these knives really well. And, uh, and buy some good stuff, whether it's from us or somewhere else. Buy the good stuff. It makes a big difference in the kitchen. You'll enjoy cooking more. You'll cook home more often. You'll save more money. And in the long run, you'll be healthier for it. If you need to come down to Bear Claw Knife and Shear, we're always here right on uh, Midkiff, Midland, Texas. We're open all week long, seven days a week. And we sure would like your business. If you come online, you can could, you could find us at bcknife.com. And uh, of course, we're always here to answer your questions. So you can give us a call at 432-253-3660 anytime. Thanks for watching. Until next time.